Hey guys, today we're diving into the topic that frustrates many gamers and PC users, low FPS. Specifically, we're going to look into several common culprits, even if your PC is brand new. So let's get started. For those who doesn't know what FPS means, well, FPS stands for frames per second and it's a measure of how smoothly a game or a video runs on your screen. Higher FPS means smoother gameplay, while lower FPS can lead to a choppy and unresponsive visuals. The first reason your PC might be experiencing low FPS is thermal throttling. Thermal throttling happens when your CPU or GPU gets too hot and automatically reduces performance to cool down. Modern CPU and GPUs are designed to slow down when it reaches certain temperature to prevent damage. While it protects your hardware, it can drastically reduce your FPS during intensive tasks like gaming or video editing. Now to see if thermal throttling is the issue of your PC, you can use a software like the HW Monitor or MSI Afterburner to monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures. If you notice temperatures consistently above 85C, then you might be dealing with thermal throttling. Solutions include cleaning your PC to remove dust, applying fresh thermal paste, and improving airflow with better case fans or even upgrading your cooling solution. Well, another common reason for low FPS is related to Windows 11 graphics issues. Some users have reported that after upgrading Windows 11, their FPS in games dropped significantly. The surprising part is that this can happen randomly to any PC build, whether it be a budget-friendly potato PC or a high-end setup. Well, I think this can be due to several factors such as an outdated graphics drivers, new power management settings, or the bugs in the operating system itself. Here are a few steps you can take to troubleshoot this problem. First, make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date. You can do this by visiting NVIDIA or AMD website, depending on your GPU, and download the latest drivers. If that still does not work, then you need to do a DTU. To know how, make sure you check out the video at the top right side corner of your screen. Next, check your power settings. Go to settings, system, power and battery, and select high performance. This ensures that your PC is using its full power potential. Finally, disable unnecessary background apps that might be consuming resources. Go to the settings, apps, startup, and turn off the apps that you don't need to start with your system. Now let's talk about some reasons you might be experiencing low FPS even if your PC is new. First up is insufficient RAM. If your system doesn't have enough RAM, it can struggle to handle modern games and applications, leading to lower FPS. So make sure you have at least 16GB of RAM for a smooth experience. Next one is background applications. Even if your PC is new, having multiple applications running in the background can consume valuable system resources. So make sure you close any unnecessary programs before launching your game. Another factor is network issues. If you're playing online games, a slow and stable internet connection can cause lag and lower FPS. So make sure your internet connection is stable and fast enough for gaming. Game settings also play a huge role. Running games at ultra settings on a mid-range PC can tank your FPS. Adjust your game graphics settings to find balance between visual quality and performance. Now, I know I already mentioned this but outdated drivers can be hidden culprit. Keep your drivers, not just your GPU, updated. This includes your motherboard, sound card, and any other peripherals. Also check your peripheral drivers working at the background. Sometimes they are eating so much resources, causing lags. It is preferable to have a peripheral software that runs only once during setup and does not require starting up in Windows Startup every time for the peripheral to function its features. I mean, that's a personal preference, obviously. I simply want to use my PC's processes efficiently. Anyway, I guess that's all that there is, but if you have any more questions, feel free to comment it down below. Also, make sure you check out the other videos on your screen for more information about this topic. So that's it guys, this is Mac, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.